Now that we have this bubble skirt all drafted and ready to go, it's time to print it out, cut it out, and sew it up. I am super excited to see how this turns out. Hi, I'm Christina and I love to digitally apparel pattern, creating unique pieces of wearable art. And I am super excited for the bubble skirt today. I went a little crazy in the patterning and went for the full circle skirt. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, if you missed the drafting, make sure to go back and check out how you can draft a bubble skirt. And if you enjoy videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe so you can see other ways on how to digitally apparel pattern and how you can get started creating your own pieces of wearable art. Let's get sewing this bubble skirt. Now that I have my pattern printed out, I'm going to go ahead and tape it together. When I originally printed it out in Adobe Illustrator, I didn't actually cut out my pattern. I just copied and pasted it straight, straight onto the artboard, causing there to be a little bit of negative print space in between each of the pieces of paper. Because it's a mock-up, I'm not too worried about it being exact. And I accidentally cut the wrong line, so I definitely need to tape that back together. Thank you for tape and recut it out so I have my seam allowances. Next, I'm going to pull out my fabric and I'm going to pin my patterns down onto the fabric so they don't move while I am cutting them out. Then it's time to cut it out. This is my center front over skirt piece that I have here. Then I'm going to pair it with the back piece So because, and I'm going to use the salvage edge of the fabric for my center back seam. Then I'm going to line up my center front underskirt on the fold so that I don't have to add another stitch line there. And then I'm going to pair that one with the set with the back pieces of the overskirt. And again, I'm going to use the salvage edge as the edge of the fabric or the, as the edge of my seam allowance so I can definitely have that there. Then I'm going to finish cutting it all out so I have all my pieces. There's my overskirt and my underskirt, and let's make a bubble skirt. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sew my side seams together. So I'm going to take my underskirt pieces and sew side seam to side seam on one side. And then I'm going to flip it around and line up my side seams again and sew side seam to side seam again. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to grab my three overskirt pieces and do the exact same thing. So side seam to side seam, making sure to back stitch at the beginning. Oops, ran out of bobbin thread, did not win bobbin roulette this time. Uh, instead of actually winding a new bottom bobbin, since this is a mock-up, I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of my other pre-made bobbins ready to go and keep going. Then I'm going to do my last side seam, so back stitch at the beginning, sew all the way down, back stitch at the end, and then we're good. We're going to move over to the ironing board. It's always essential to iron your pieces as you step through it so that your pattern or your finished garment looks as best, as beautiful as it possibly can. I'm also ironing out that center front crease because I used the crease in the fabric and I want it to be gone so that it looks nice and professional when I'm looking at it to see if there's any alterations I would want to make before I make it for myself. Then I'm going to move back to my sewing machine and I'm going to add in the gathering stitches. I always prefer to do my gathering stitches in sections uh, instead of the full thing. So a lot of times people will do, if they're gathering an entire hem, they'll do one gathering stitch all the way around and even it. I always find it's better for me to section them out and gather small sections to small sections. That way if a thread breaks or something happens, I am not having to redo the entire garment but only a section. Now because it is a mock-up, I did decide to do the entire waistband in one section. So you can kind of see the difference. Then we're going to start lining up our hems. So I'm going to match up the salvage edges, then I'm gonna match up the side seams, center front, and the other side seam, so that when I'm gathering down, I know where I'm gathering down to, so I don't gather down too far or not enough. So once I have that all laid out, I'm going to go ahead and pull on my gathering stitches so that we can get them 
so I can get the top skirt down to the same length as the under skirt. Once I have it there, I am going to just kind of work those gathers so it's evenly spaced all the way across and I'm going to pin them down so that when I'm actually sewing that, it doesn't move on me. There we go. Now that I have that ready, I'm going to go ahead and sew the seam together. So this is technically my hem seam that I have going on here uh, that you actually won't see because it will be pulled up creating that bubble. Back stitch, and then we're going to do the top. So again, I'm going to line up my two raw edges, my two side seams, and my center front before I start gathering anything in. That way I know that it will be gathered evenly all the way across the waistband of the skirt. Then I'm gonna start pulling those gathering stitches and gather down in sections, making sure it's nice and even all the way across and pinning it so that it doesn't move on me while I am sewing. Next, we're gonna move back to the sewing machine and we're going to sew my waist seam. Then I'm going to pull out all my pins and we're gonna move over to the dress form. So then all I have to do is put it on the dress form. We're gonna pin it at the top at waistband to make sure it'll stay on the dress form. Then I'm gonna pin down the hem and I'm just going to work the hem a little bit. Now if you wanted this to be a little bit more uh, full, you can definitely, now if you want this hem to be a little bit more full, you can definitely stuff it with something or line it with tulle uh, to give it a little bit more oomph. I chose to leave it very simple and very plain so that it had its own world. And there we have it. She is super cute. I am so happy with how she turned out. She is definitely a bubble though. She is full, 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 but I love it because I love circle skirts. And I do particularly love that pulled up hem instead of it being finished down there. I do really like that pulled up look. I think it's a great way to finish a shirt, a skirt. I'm very interested to try it in a few different variations to see how it compares to the full skirt versus maybe a dirndl skirt or something. We'll just have to see. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you can continue seeing other fun half scale builds, as well as how to digitally apparel pattern your own pieces of wearable art. I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy patterning!